to the movies now and comedy legend Jerry Seinfeld is making his directorial debut with Unfrosted. Yeah, Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis joins us now. Morning Jabba. Um, this is based on a true story, is it? Uh, very, very loosely, Sal. Good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. Uh, speaking of white powder, this one contains a hell of a lot of it, namely sugar. It is the fabricated story of Pop-Tarts, a heatable breakfast treat that you pop in a toaster. I'm off carbs, so not my idea of a good brekkie. The gags come thick and fast, but most of them don't land. I tried to get teenage Ruby to watch with me. She said, who's Terry Scheinfeld? So job not done as a parent. Let's take a quick look at Unfrosted. In the early 1960s, the American morning was defined by milk and cereal. And the two undisputed giants of the cereal world were Kellogg's and Post. Major news from the breakfast world. The Post Cereal Company has reportedly invented a shelf-stable fruit pastry breakfast product. No. Yeah. Boy. Snap, crackle, and flop. Two stars for Unfrosted. It just dropped on Netflix last night and very American. I mean, do we really need, you know, the story of a breakfast cereal? It's, I mean, they, they put a lot of gags in there, but most well, of them don't When you look land. at what Jerry can do with stories about nothing Anything, in the, in the yeah. other space, I would have thought it would be OK. Much I saved that on my watch list. How good were the apple and cinnamon Pop-Tarts just as a joke? I know. My mm. kids were like, what are Pop-Tarts? I thought, oh, here Anyway, we go. sorry, Jabs, we derailed you as usual. Can we uh, move Guys, on? look, yeah, oh. Sal, have you watched this? This is I Anne have. Hathaway, dropped on Prime Video. What Can I get your read on it before I put the boot in? I only watched 28 minutes of it, so that's probably my read on it. Why do you, you opt out pretty excruciating. <laughs> pretty excruciating. Thank you, Sally. So the idea of you, it's a rom-com that's a reverse Notting Hill that stars Anne Hathaway. She is a 40-something art dealer. She's divorced. She's got a teenage daughter who's a fan of a pop band called August Moon, basically One Direction. Um, and uh, Anne's character, Selene, hooks up with one of the teen singers, sorry, one of the 24-year-old singers in August Moon uh, in Coachella. I invited Melissa, my wife, to watch this with me. 45 minutes in, she got up and packed her bags. Um, she did have a work trip, so that's why she was packing her bags. <laughs> uh, um, I went I went back to watch this purely because it's my job. I really didn't want to watch it, and it raises some fascinating points. Anne Hathaway has really copped it in real life. There are people called Hatha haters. Um, she's copped things for her age. Obviously, there's a huge discrimination against women and an older woman going out with a younger guy, which we don't see so much when the genders are reversed. I found this excruciating. Let's take a look at the idea of you. I feel like I don't meet people like you very often. And most people think they already know me. Hayes Campbell. It's not me. I don't know. You didn't seem to care. And for what it's worth, I think we met in a very interesting way. I think you're smart. And, you know, you're also just, just you're hot or whatever. You have seen a lot of positive reviews for this banging on about how Anne Hathaway's character feels seen after her husband left her for a younger woman. Mate, it's Anne Hathaway. You might need to visit Specsavers. Don't bother, <laughs> darling. Two stars. You're so sassy on Amazon today, Prime. Jabs. But it was. Uh, it looks, I'm fired it looks, up. It doesn't, it no, doesn't but look people great. have loved this movie. And I have to admit, like, the book was a, a bestseller um, based yeah. probably on Harry Styles, but the author said it wasn't. So, I mean, it's already got an inbuilt audience and I'm sure it'll go... But I just felt like Anne Hathaway, she's hot on her own two feet. She doesn't need a 20 One minute you're opting out at 28 minutes, the next minute you're saying it's the best thing ever. I'm a flip-flopper. You know, <laughs> okay. Why I'm going to watch the rest of it. Thanks, Jazz. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thanks, guys. Happy Star Wars Day. May the fourth be with you. And to you also. Be with you.